I wonder what will happen in the news today on Friday the 13th in 2020. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's take a look at the news. How Ticketmaster plans to check your vaccine status for concerts. All right, no coronavirus vaccine, no entry. Experts say it's possible in pandemic's next stage. And as I recently tweeted, guys, remember when we were called conspiracy theorists for saying that they're going to kill your social life unless you get a vaccine? And in fact, we have a prime example right here, guys. This is from Reuters. This is from Reuters six months ago, back in May, where it says, false claim. Bill Gates wants to microchip people and Anthony Fauci wants people to carry vaccination certificates. Posts on social media claim that Bill Gates allegedly wants to microchip people while Fauci wants, to, wants the public to carry vaccination certificates. And of course, fast forward six months, guys, and here we are. No coronavirus vaccine, no entry. Experts say it's possible in the pandemic's next stage. So we're going to cover all this and much, much more, guys. So be sure to stick around. But before we get into it, I'd ask that you just check us out here at pressfortruth.ca slash pressfortruthband on YouTube. Uh, here's where you're going to find where I'm now posting on all the other decentralized platforms like BitChute, Library, Float, Minds, and DLive. And here's where you can also contribute to me financially on Patreon, Subscribestar, uh, PayPal, go get funding, you can do an e-transfer, or you can send anything you'd like to this P.O. box right here. Links are located in the description below. All right, guys, as I said, remember back when we were called conspiracy theorists for saying that they're going to kill your social life unless you get a vaccine. And as I said, here's a prime example, just six months ago, this is coming from Reuters. As of May 5th, 2020, multiple posts with this claim have over 29,000 shares. Examples are visible. <laughs> look, they give four different examples here, 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 and here. Uh, let's take a quick look at their examples, shall we? We open up this one, and what do we have? Oh, okay, it's a Facebook post. Uh, Gates wants us microchipped, and Fauci wants us to carry back certificates. Did you not see that coming? <laughs> okay, a stupid little meme. Uh, what's their other example? Let's open this up and see. Oh, okay. It's the exact same meme, just posted by somebody else. All right, what's your other example? Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Exact same meme, uh, just posted by somebody else. And I'm sure you guys can guess what the fourth one is here. They're, they're all their examples of this claim being false is one stupid little meme that was shared by multiple people uh, on... Uh, uh, on, on Facebook. It's just insane. But as I said, I was saying, you know, remember back when they were calling us conspiracy theorists for saying that they're going to kill your social life unless you get a vaccine? Well, take a look at this. And I link uh, to this. Ticketmaster is planning to require customers to verify coronavirus vaccination status with a digital passport on their smartphones or prove coronavirus free status with a test in order to attend live events, according to reports. And indeed, the reports have been coming in and we're going to take a look at this one today so let's just jump right into it on the heels of positive news from a potential coronavirus vaccine candidate a ticket master is thinking about the future the company confirmed to global news that it is exploring a new strategy that would allow individual event organizers to require fans to verify their vaccination status or whether they've tested negative for COVID-19 within a 24 to 72 hour window prior to attending events. This is exactly what we've been um, uh, warning about. And obviously if it turns out that you don't have your vaccine, they're gonna say, no, you can't get in. If it turns out that you uh, don't have a negative test or you tested positive, what happens at that point? You get forced into some sort of uh, uh, quarantine? That remains to be seen. Uh, it won't be a blanket mandate, Ticketmaster said, but just a tool in the box for event organizers to implement at their discretion based on the preferences and local health guidelines. The idea is just a potential concept, the company said, but it could work like this. Fans who purchase tickets for a designated event would need to verify that they've already been vaccinated or tested negative during a fixed period of time. The exact length may vary by local public health guidelines. Ticket holders would request to have a lab deliver results of their tests or vaccine a vaccination certification to their health information company who would then verify the results with Ticketmaster. 
no cer certified vaccine, no negative COVID-19 tests, and or an event organizer can deny you your tickets. There's a lot of ethical questions behind this. It looks on the surface pretty straightforward, but I think we need to pay a lot more attention to this, said Kerry Bowman, bioethics and global health professor at University of Toronto. The private sector is going to force us into something that society might not be ready for. Uh, and here we get into the immunity passport idea. Ticketmaster's potential plan would revolve around the company's smartphone app. Here's where it gets crazy, guys. According to a report by Billboard, the app would link with third-party health information companies like IBM's Digital Health Pass or Clear Health Pass, which delivers personal health information to verified IDs and can display COVID-19 test results, as well as testing and vaccine distribution providers. Guys, this is the part that is incredibly troubling to me right here. IBM's Digital Health Pass is going to be in control of this. Are, are you guys familiar uh, with this book? It's called IBM and the Holocaust. It was written by a journalist, investigative journalist Edwin Black, which details the business dealings of the American-based multinational corporation, International Business Machines, uh, IBM, and its German and other European subsidiaries with the government of Adolf, of Adolf Hitler during the 1930s and the years of World War II. Guys, in the book, published in 2001, Black outlined the way in which IBM's technology helped facilitate Nazi genocide through generation and tabulation of punch cards based upon national census data, ladies and gentlemen. IBM literally helped the Nazis find the Jews that they were looking for by collecting their info under just census collection. Meanwhile, the truth was IBM was providing their the, the, the information to, to the Nazis so they could know exactly who and where everyone is so they can go scoop up the troublemakers in their eyes. Guys, do you not see a problem with this moving forward in the post-COVID-1984 nightmare? Who's the new vermin? It's people who are going against the status quo. That's who they want to take out now. And we've got companies like IBM who have a history of facilitating the genocide. This, this is just absolutely insane. How, how come nobody's just not, not seeing this for what it is? Um, well, I suppose almost 100 years have passed or however long it's been to, since they've been around, so maybe that's all it takes is a bit of time to pass. The company made it clear Ticketmaster will not be able to require such parameters. It would always be up to the event organizer. Um, while only an idea, it's still enough to get people thinking, according to Bowman. In fact, it's not entirely a new idea. This comes in under the idea of immunity passports, in a way. And, of course, I've been covering this... Um, uh, for a long time, we've seen this back in April. As China lifts its coronavirus lockdowns, authorities are using a color-coded health system to dictate where their citizens can go. Uh, here's how it works, and the article goes on to explain it. And uh, as I've been showing uh, for the last six months now, how China is often a blueprint for what we can soon expect here in the West. And there they have this whole color-coded system where you have to show your uh, a positive test or your vaccine certificate on your smartphone. You get a green check or, or an X, uh, 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 the red X to say uh, no, or, or a yellow to say it's uh, currently in limbo. But that's what's coming, guys. They're already doing it in China, and they're already talking about it here now. Uh, some governments have suggested that uh, designating a strategy to detect, to detect the virus could enable people to travel or return to work, assuming that they are protected against reinfection. An immunity passport or risk-free certificate would hypoth hypothetically prove the latter. Um, it hasn't gotten very far. While there is a growing body of research suggesting COVID-19 antibodies can be present for months after infection, scientists and the World Health Organization alike have stressed that their presence does not equal immunity to reinfection. The immunity passport concept has been discouraged by the WHO and others Though that hasn't stopped some from trying it out. Digital health passports trials are underway in the airline industry. The aim is to design a common standard to prove 
that a traveler is COVID-19 free or vaccinated in an effort to reopen borders and to reboot the travel industry. Uh, this is about risk mitigation. There's no perfect safe solution, said Paul Meyer, CEO of the Commons Project, which has created a digital health pass backed by the World Economic Forum. This is about providing information that can help countries reduce the risk of COVID-19 spreading. Let's take a look at what the World Health Organization is uh, doing here. Uh, we have uh, digital health passport trials underway to aid in the reopening of the borders. Common Pass aims to create a common standard providing a traveler is COVID free or vaccinated. Once again, guys, this is the stuff I've been warning about for a long time. Um, people have been calling me a, a conspiracy theorist for saying this stuff no, no, no little than six months ago. And now it's just being openly talked about in the news like, uh, oh yeah, this is a normal, regular thing. Um, th th this, this explains it well. No mask, no entry to so shops, that's real now. Uh, no mask, no airline travel, that's a thing now. No mask, no public transport, that's a thing now. No mask, no access to public buildings, this is now true. No mask, no work, no mask, no school. Now replace mask with vaccine for what comes next. Guys, this is why the powers that ought not to be have seen uh, those of us who have been exposing the inherent dangers with vaccines over the past decade as a major thorn in their side, why they've been working so hard to stop and silence that movement, because this is a big, big part of the end game moving forward. So maybe it's time people start paying a little bit more attention to those of us in the alternative media who dedicate our life's work to paying close attention to this stuff, rather than the mainstream media, the Fauci's, the WHO, the CDCs, as we've shown, all the people who blatantly lie or just tell you, no, don't worry about that, it's all conspiracy theory. And then incrementally, they start rolling all the things out that they told you not to worry about. Uh, that's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on another note, this is interesting. Um, we'll just close with this. Uh, Elon Musk is asking some serious questions today. Let me refresh it because you may have something new. He's on a tear lately. Uh, he started with this uh, late last night. Something extremely bogus is going on. Was tested for COVID four times. Two tests came back negative, two came back positive. Same machine, same test, same nurse. Rapid antigen test from BD. I, I love the language he's using here. Something extremely bogus is going on. He continues, uh, the carousel turns ever faster. Would be great to hear from people who know a lot about the PCR testing industry. What's the approximate false positive rate? All things considered for COVID-2 PCR tests. Uh, here he asks again, what is the general population, no knowledge of symptoms, accuracy of a sars cov 2 PCR test? And is it possible to generate a false positive if you simply run enough cycles? Hmm, very good questions, Elon. Very good questions. Uh, <laughs> it should be interesting to see what's going to happen with this man over the next few months if he continues down this road with this narrative. Uh, obviously, they, 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 they take issue with people who have a large following and, and say these types of things. And uh, this is going to be something to, to pay attention to moving forward. So I just wanted to put that in your ear. Uh, but again, guys, we've been calling it for six months now. And here we are. No coronavirus vaccine. No entry. Experts say it's possible in the pandemic's next stage. Please click the thumbs up button, share this video, and let people know that, guys, we're, we're on target here. We don't have a crystal ball, but we understand what's coming because I do my due diligence and research, and that's why we're so on point. If you appreciate this, again, please uh, don't forget to check us out here at pressfortruth.ca slash pressfortruthband on YouTube. Um, make sure you subscribe to me on BitChute, Library, Float, and Minds. These are the decentralized platforms that are not going to censor me moving forward. And again, if you want to financially support my efforts to bring you this information, you can click on this banner here uh, to become a patron. Uh, we have a Subscribestar account here, which is a little better than Patreon. They're probably a little less likely to censor me. Um, we got a one-time donation with PayPal. You can do that here. We got a go get funding campaign going here. You can send an e-transfer to dan at pressfortruth.ca or you can send anything to the P.O. Box 1521 Squamish, B.C. V8B0B1. Um, links are located in the description below. 
thank you so much to anybody who does contribute. And uh, that's all for today, guys. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And stay tuned. We're going to have more video reports coming soon. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. The truth will set you free.